Hey guys, in this video I'll be showing you guys how to upload you guys' gameplay from your Xbox, edit it on your phone, and then upload it to YouTube from your phone. So this video is for people that don't own a PC and have an Xbox and a phone or a tablet and would like to start making YouTube videos or any type of gaming content. This method is 100% free, so let's get into the first step. So the very first thing you guys are going to want to do is load up your Xbox here and go to your settings. You do that by clicking the middle button or the Xbox icon on your controller, triple tapping three times right on the D-pad so you go to your settings, click A on settings, and then you guys can go right ahead and go to account. So the reason we're going to go to account is to go to our uh, privacy and online safety. So after you've gotten to your privacy and online safety, you can go ahead and click on Xbox Live Privacy. And then you're going to want to have it set as custom. I have it set as custom so I have complete and total control over this. If you can't control this because you have a child account, please get your parent to disable this or change this. Contact Microsoft and you guys can work it out to change to a owl account or a custom account. So you guys can go right ahead and click view details and customize and click A. Once you've done that, you can go down to game content all the way down and click A. Once you've done that, you can go to all of these and copy my settings. So the first one, sharing game clips and screenshots, needs to be allowed. Others can see game clips and screenshots, needs to be everyone on internet. You can upload community creations, everybody. You can broadcast gameplay, allow, and you can share content using Connect or other camera, allow. And once you've done that, then you can go back and click sharing outside of Xbox. Once you click that, you can click A. And they'll have allow for others can see your content or share your content. And then as well, you can share content outside of Xbox. So you want to have that as allow as well. So everybody in allow for those two settings. These steps allow us to actually complete the task that we're going to do. It takes down any barriers that is going to stop you from being able to achieve that. So the next step is going to actually be setting up the type of video quality and content we're going to be creating. So we're going to want to go down here to preferences and go to broadcast and capture. So it has a little icon there with the satellite and you're going to click A. You do not need to have the mic on because this will not record your voice or your party chat. It also doesn't record longer than five minutes using this method, but with the multiple clips we can easily make gaming videos. If you'd like a method that allows you to record your voice and record up to unlimited hours on Xbox then I lift a link to that video in the description box below and I'll also link a card at the top here that you can click on that will take you to that video and explains how you add your voice and record for hours at the same time without having to add it in post. We will be adding our vocals in post in this video. I link the method that I'm using in the description box below and in the card above. I've already made a video detailing exactly what I do and I've made other videos explaining how to record Xbox One gameplay. You can go right ahead and click that link and it will take you to all the information that I have on recording Xbox One gameplay. So for this method, you're going to have to have allow game captures on. This is crucial. Have a check mark in this box. Then we're going to go down to automatically upload and click captures by me. And then also you have to go to capture location and select internal. Internal. Okay. Now these game clip resolution and record that duration are linked together so you need to make a choice 1080p is better quality but you can record only for two minutes 720p isn't as high of quality but you can record for five minutes so depending on the type of content you're making and the type of quality you desire you can record for whatever you want i personally use 1080p because i think that's the industry standard by now and i record for the max of two minutes once you have these settings, you can copy them exactly like I have them, or you can switch this to 720p and switch this to 5 minutes or any duration you'd like. I'm going to keep it at 1080p at 2 minutes, but you can copy these exactly as they are and we can move on to the next step. So now I'm on Fortnite, I'm going to record some gameplay. Before I do that, I'd like to share my map. It's the world's hardest death run, I named it. It's very, very difficult death run. Here's the code 83025722460. If you'd like to try out my map, I published it. You can also use supporter creator code SHELD905 in the item shop. It's 75 levels, so you guys can check it out. So let's go right ahead and 
try recording some gameplay. So now I'm in the Xbox and I have everything set up in the settings. I'm gonna go right ahead and complete the first level of this death run here and I'm going to record it. So I died, no big deal, and I'm going to record up to two minutes. And this is why we have it at the maximum recording. To say if you die and it doesn't look good the first time, you can go right ahead and try again and crop it out later the second time. Die the third time, this is okay. So I've completed the first level of my death run. Very easy to do. All done deal. Looks great. And now I want to record that. So all you want to do is press the middle button. And down here in the bottom left hand corner you should see record screenshot. Record that. Capture options by and system options. Just click record that X. It will automatically record the last two minutes of your gameplay. So it's not going to record two minutes forward. It's only going to record the last two minutes of what you've seen on my screen. The last two minutes of my Xbox gameplay it has now been recorded. So now all we have to do is wait for that to be uploaded. And I'm going to show you where you can check the progress of that. So you're going to click the middle button and double tap right on to the D-pad so you get to broadcast and capture the little satellite icon. And you're going to click recent captures. So once that has uploaded, you can see two minutes ago I recorded a clip. Very simple, I'm going to click A on that clip because that's the clip I want to make sure is uploading. And you can see that it's already uploading because we have automatically upload captures by me and we have the settings all set up and done. Sometimes it doesn't happen and you just have to manually click upload. This is very, very rare. As long as it says queued for upload, you're good to go. Now the amount of time it's going to take to upload is going to take depend on your internet. So if it doesn't upload in 3 minutes, it's okay. It might take 15 minutes, might take an hour depending on your internet. Most times for me it takes about 5 minutes for everything to register. So now we're going to move on to the next step while well, that's uploading. We're going to go right ahead on our phones and get the content or the video on our phones so we can start editing it and upload that to YouTube. So now that you guys have set up all the settings on your Xbox, we're going to be on the phone here and we're going to go and download what we need to download. So for Android, we're going to use the Play Store. For Apple, I don't know what you guys use, iTunes Store. But we're going to go here and go into the Play Store. Now, now that we're in the Play Store, we're going to type in Xbox. We're just simply going to just type in Xbox here and download the first one up here with the Xbox icon. And I've already installed it. You're going to click in it and install. While that's installing, you're going to search up the next app we're going to download. We're just going to type in video editor, video editor, and we are going to find a video editor. Now, you guys can use any video editor you want. Now, my favorite one is the Power Direct uh, video editor. It's really, really good. It's amazing. It, the features, the layout, it's really good for pro editing on mobile. But the problem is with it is you have to pay like five dollars uh, for three months to not have a watermark on the video you can still export the video at 1080p but there's a watermark in the bottom right hand corner saying power direct I don't like that so if you guys don't want to pay that money every three months or whatever we're gonna use this app down here it's called video editor or YouTube video guru and it's by InShot and InShot makes a video editor for Instagram as well and we're going to install that so once you've installed both these apps and the apps have installed, you're going to want to go to your Xbox. Now remember guys, your clip needs to be fully uploaded before you can move on to the steps. So you can always go to your Xbox and check to see if that's uploaded. But once you've done that, you're going to go on to the Xbox app. It will take you to a page that looks similar to this. And you can go right ahead and click the three lines in the top left hand corner. Once you've done that, you can just click captures. It has a little movie icon with a controller in front of it. And it says captures. Click on that. And then you can go right ahead and make sure that this says everything. So you can see here my clip that I've recorded earlier in this video. I have it here on the Xbox. And it's right there right now. So that's pretty good. And my clip is there from the beginning of the video. So all I have to do now is go back to that clip and click this little uh, arrow icon underneath the video there's a heart comment and arrow little arrow share icon and you're gonna click save so once you click save it's going to ask for access to your photos media allow that because if you can't uh, do anything and you're just gonna let that go right ahead and download so once that's downloaded it'll take you back to the screen and you'll have the file on your phone 
You can record multiple clips and continue this process to montage them together. So now that you've downloaded all the clips, go through, download the clips you want to download, and bring them into your editor. So we're going to go to our video maker. This little plus icon here to bring us into the video editor. Now you're going to select the clips that you guys want to edit together. I've already gone ahead and downloaded a few clips. So I'm going to download this one, this one. That one's a little bit long. We're going to bring in this one. Whole bunch of short clips I have. I have 30 second clips, minute clips, pre cropped. I'm going to bring them all in at once. Now you don't have to bring them all in at once if you don't want to. So I'm going to start off with this video here and I'm going to show you guys how to edit some basic stuff. So this is the first video of me doing the death run. But say I want this here to be in front of one beside it. I'm going to simply say if I want to change the order, you're going to double tap the timeline and you can hold and drag which where you want each clip to be in which order so let's just say I want this bot play here to be in front of my first clip I have now edited it and left it so you can see here now the bot plays at the beginning of my timeline at zero seconds so if I play that go right ahead here and voila I'm going to make a fat bot play here and kill me and my brother and that's the first play so say now that I have it in order and I want to add some text, I can go ahead and click the text icon where I want to add text and go right ahead and put bot play montage and voila, I have some text there. I can select the different fonts in here. I can add different colors, opacity, label, border and shadow and I can go right ahead and change the justification, spacing and all that fun stuff. So once I've done that, I can just leave that and I can click play. And you'll see that the bot play montage comes up. So let's just say now that I've done that, I want to add an effect. When I die, I might want to add when I land. I'm going to go right to when that number pops up and I'm going to add a glitch effect. Click and I'm just going to hold, press and hold and it'll add that effect for that little bit of time. And then I'm going to click play. And I'm going to click check mark there and you can see that little purple thing will show that the glitch pops up and it does that little cool effect there. And there's tons of ways you can add thick effects to your plays um, and make the montage look a little bit more professional. Now let's just say I want to make this look uh, a little bit more colorful. I can add a filter and I can adjust the filters myself. I can also go to lightness and just leave everything at zero. Leave everything at basically zero and I can just increase the saturation to around 30 here and it'll really add a nice effect on your video really keeping the quality nice and high and it really adds that color saturation that's going to make your video look good so now that I've done that and I'm happy with that maybe I want this to be a little bit faster and I'm gonna click speed and I'm gonna say I want to add double the speed I want this to be super fast and it's going to shorten that clip. And the best part about this is when you do that, it automatically drags the next clip. So now that I've done everything, let's say I want to add some music. And I'm going to add some music here. I'm going to add this little snippet from a friend of mine, Genesis. He makes beats and cool like logos and stuff. You guys can check him out. I'll leave a link to his SoundCloud in the description box below. And I'll click play. Okay, so you can see right here that I have music on this bottom clip line here and I need to get rid of that because uh, I can't have that other music. So all I have to do is just go down here and reduce the volume to nothing. So I have to go to all my clips and just put the volume to nothing. Uh, you can click apply to all. Did not know that. So you can click apply to all and it will completely disable all the sound for all the videos. Now they're all at zero and I can still have my music from that snippet there. So it's a nice little uh, audio beat there. Really peps up the video, makes it look good. And I think that's it. I showed you guys how to add audio, trim, all that. Now I'm going to show you how to add a voiceover. So let's just say I want to uh, add a voiceover to the video. I'm going to click record and I'm going to click allow because it's going to ask and I'm going to tap to record and it's going to play the video on my phone as I'm talking so I can line up what I want to say with what I'm 
doing on the screen. It's like, hey guys, welcome back. This is my bot montage. It has a whole bunch of plays of me sucking on Fortnite. I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know in the comment section what you'd like to see in the next video. And I'll see you guys on the next one. And I can click that, record. I have that here. And you'll see when I go back here. Now you can see that my audio and that one's a little bit too low. So we're going to go here. And you see that it's already naturally high. So we're going to go to our snippet here and reduce the music to around 30%. All right. So you can see that I have my audio that I added there. I can add whatever I want whenever I want and it, it will look really good and sound really good. So now that I've done all of that and uh, maybe I want to trim a video. Maybe this video is a little bit too long for my liking. Maybe I want to trim this video. It's like, huh, hey, I don't need all that beginning part. I'll just add the part where I try to do the death run here. I can click play, play and it'll play what I have left and I can click check and voila, it's clipped that part all the way down. I showed you guys how to edit your videos, add audio to your videos, add text to your videos, add music to your videos, crop videos, add effects to your videos. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> um, so hopefully this all helps you guys out. So now that you're done and you say you're happy with the end result, you've went through this process for all the clips that you want to montage together, you can click save. So now you're going to want to save at 1080p. Uh, you want it at 1080p that, or the highest possible. High quality, you want it at the highest quality. And you're going to keep the draft just in case something happens and click save. So now that you've saved, it's going to start downloading. Now it's very simple. It's going to pop up an ad here. And you can just simply just close. And it's going to start converting the video into a MP4 file for you guys to upload to YouTube. So I'm going to let this upload and we'll come back and upload it to YouTube. Okay, so now that the video is done saving, you can go right ahead and go and click YouTube if you'd like. And you can have your email account. You can click here and add your accounts here, right here in the middle here underneath the timeline. You can make sure you are on your account, that you're signed into your account. And you can go ahead and make sure that the full thing is there. Add a title and um, put bot plays montage and uh, that's good for me add a description this video is a bunch bunch of clips clips of me of clips of me being a bot right and then make sure your privacy is set to public so everyone can see it and get you can get views on your video and then all you have to do is click upload. I'm going to set mine to unlisted because I don't want it to post on my YouTube. But make sure yours is set to public. Click that arrow and you can see the video has started uploading and it will upload to YouTube. Once it's uploaded to 100%, it's going to process and the video will be fully uploaded. Okay, guys. So I hope this video helps you guys upload videos from your Xbox One to YouTube using a phone only. Let me know in the comment section below for any questions you have. Definitely check out my playlist on how to make videos on YouTube if you have any questions. Most of the questions will be answered there. If you like the video, please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.